Hi and welcome to our yoga challenge today. Thank you so much for joining us again. Um, today I'm going to share with you my favorite things to do. First thing in the morning, kind of coming out of bed. Sometimes I, I take a shower first because I think this um, just being upright for a bit and, and heat can be really, really useful to release and get things going, circulation going, of course. Um, but I, I do just take a few minutes for my practice, get on my mat to get everything going and release some of the, the tension that we maybe accumulated overnight. So let's come into all fours. And we're just going to have the hand slightly further forwards of um, where we would normally have them in, in the all fours position, which would be under directly underneath the shoulders. So we're bringing them slightly further forwards. And then from there, I'm simply going to start to rock forwards and backwards. So see if you can just start to tune into any sensations, maybe around the hips. How does it feel to create this little bit of movement and just noticing where your head is as well. Obviously, when we're working on the shoulder release, we did our um, chin tucks. So see if you can think about maybe lifting the head up towards the ceiling, not forward so the chin sticks out, but just the same thing we did in our shoulder stretch. Good, so from there, you can start to let this movement become a little bit more uh, fluid and a little bit more three-dimensional. So see if you can really tune into your body. So I'm now starting to create a little bit more of a circular movement. And then I'm circling the other way. You can come kind of forwards as well a little bit more, and lifting up through the chest. You can reach back, you can take it over to the side, maybe one side feels like it would like to create or get a little bit more opening. But the purpose here is really to keep moving. Good, so maybe this is enough for you. Maybe you you don't have so much time in the morning and you literally just want to do that one thing. If you want to um, start to, if you want to continue from here, I always like to take it into an extended puppy pose for a moment, lengthening here through the whole of the spine and then maybe taking it into downward dog. Lift and lengthen. Notice I'm not straightening my legs straight away, I'm just kind of bending the knees, straightening the legs because it's early morning. So, I want to kind of feel my way into it and then release, maybe coming into a child's pose for a breath or two and then slowly bringing yourself up. Good, so I'm hoping that this will have given you some inspiration maybe to even continue your, your morning practice. Otherwise, a little bit every single day is, makes such a big impact, much more than a big practice every couple of weeks. So I hope that you enjoyed this and join me tomorrow.